So hi and welcome to another mining video. Today I'm going to show you how to mine GBX, which is quite popular at the moment for mining. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you another video on how to mine any other coins. I've done some for Vivo, Ether. Check out those videos along with some mining rig stuff and some TDP and hash rates for 1070s, 1080s, 1060s. So it's easy here to mine GoBite or GBX as we're going to call it. You need to go to gobyte.network. I'll put all the links in the description below. You need to go to the download page and on here, download the version that you wish for the wallet that you want to use. I'm going to use the Windows 64. What you're also going to need to do is you need to go to the GitHub for CC Miner if you don't have it already and download again the version you want. I'm going to download the 64 bit, 32 bits x86. This is for Windows 10. Once you've downloaded CC Miner and you've extracted it, you're going to need to edit a bat file. You need to make this bat file look like this basically. So you're going to put the miner cc minor dash 64 or dash 86 the dash a then neo script which is the algo then dash o and stratum plus tcp forward slash forward slash i'll put a link in the description for this file that i'll put on dropbox for you that you can use and just edit the way you want it to work you'll need to add your mining pool i say i'm using uni mining here if you're mining inn it'd be 4235 so just be careful you get the right port number your username which is your coin reference from the wallet i'll show you where to get that in a moment dash p for password but we just leave it blank and all you do is add it c equals which is the coin gbx okay i'll put pause on it but you don't need to do that so what we need to do now is set the wallet up so you'll need to extract the wallet you'll need these four files from the wallet you need to run this version here the exe it's going to ask you to install in a directory i'm going to install mine in a custom directory i'm just going to delete it when i'm finished because i'm not using this one to so create your folder where you want it to store it click select folder you need 72 gig of available space it's a large download, but it won't be that big. I'd be very surprised if it is. Once you've picked your file and it's downloading the blockchain, you'll see how it's synchronized with the network. This is 14 weeks behind, so it is a long time behind, and it will take time to sync with the blockchain. So bear with it. Once that's completed, then you'll have an accurate reading. It can take up to 12 hours for any coin to show up in your wallet, so don't get worried if you're mining and you're not seeing that. Most pools will have a minimum payout, so you have to keep an eye out what the minimum payout that will depend if you've mined enough before you even get the payout. So you still have a few things you need to check. Each miner pool has that information, usually on their main page. So once you've installed your wallet, you can encrypt the wallet, which I suggest you do. And you put your password phase, phase in here, or password phrase. Call it whatever you want. Now your wallet will be encrypted. That's fine. Make sure you encrypt it so no one else can enter your wallet easily. It'll then close your wallet down when it's doing that to encrypt the wallet. So when you open it, you'll see under settings, it says encrypted wallet, and now it's been grayed out. When you try to send any money, it'll ask you for that password you put in. So we make sure you remember that, or you won't be able to access your wallet. So we also need to get the address that we put into the batch file. We will need the receiving address. So you'll click on the receiving address, and you can copy this label here. Go back to your batch file that you had, and you want to paste in your receiving key into that section there. So that means when you're mining to the pool, it knows where to send the coin to, and that'll be your address that you're going to receive the coin on into your wallet. If you don't have that right, it'll go to a different wallet. Once you've done all that, then all you need to do then is run your bat file, and you'll now begin mining. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you any other coins you need to mine. Happy to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in later. Thanks a lot.